OK, welcome to another game guide for The Long Dark by Randomised User. Now, if you've seen a previous video of mine, you'll know how to um, find and unlock the entrance to Pleasant Valley. However, since then, they've expanded the transition areas between all regions of the Long Dark map, so now it's a bit more complicated. So today I'm going to show you how to do those transitions, uh, which is the new expanded ravine and the abandoned mine. Right, so this is the new expanded ravine, in which you don't actually get to the ravine just yet, and you certainly don't get to that um, rickety old train bridge until quite a bit later. Now, as soon as you get into this um, ravine area, um, you can you can harvest quite a few plants actually. There's a lot of wildlife and a lot of plants here to harvest, which is a useful tip. But as soon as you get into it, turn right and... Oh, hello. <laughs> hello dear. Turn right and go along this little cross-country bit. Um, if you see over there, there's a... What the hell? I'm being, I'm being mobbed. <laughs> if you see over there, there's a, there's a uh, broken down box car which has crashed and is strewn all over the ravine. Now, um, you can go and collect some, collect some supplies in the box cars, but if you want to cross the ravine, you'll need to go on the right hand side of the gorge first. So just um, travel down here for a while until you actually hit the ravine. Right. So as soon as you start seeing rabbits, you'll know you're at the right portion. Piss off. <laughs> So, go towards the ravine and, and, and the boxcars, and you'll see a tree that's um, conveniently placed over the gorge. You'll also possibly see some... Fuck, go away. You'll also see a corpse and some deer and some rose hips. Delicious rose hips. Now, line yourself up with the tree and carefully cross it. Don't look down. Woohoo! Right, keep going. You'll need to cross on the boxcar. Possibly. <laughs> and just go up the slope, and you're almost there. That's the tricky part, finding the tree. Now, if you keep on going down um, along the railway tracks again, you'll eventually get to a tunnel, and you'll come back out on the rickety bridge that by now you'll probably know very well. This new transition area is actually quite long. Um, just like to point that out. And there we go. Um, one final challenge. We've got to cross the rickety bridge. Right, so this is the bit um, that you might have seen in the previous video. Uh, this is the old transition area, uh, which you still, have to, um, you still have to traverse, so just be a bit careful there, not to fall over the side. And there you have it. That is the entrance to the coastal highway. And there we go. Now we'll skip on a bit to go and see how to get through the abandoned mine to get to the Pleasant Valley. OK, so this is the remodelled entrance to the Pleasant Valley. Now you have to go through the Abandoned Mine. The Abandoned Mine is basically a maze. So as soon as you get into this entrance area, just check to see if there's anything of interest. You might be able to find some lantern fuel, for instance. And then uh, light the lantern and then piss off through the maze. Right, let me just get my uh, lantern up. I've got a shitty lantern here. There we go. Light the lantern. Yeah! And if you know where you're going, you won't actually need that much fuel. So, here we go, through the maze. There's quite a few twists and turns, and a couple of rooms you'll need to go through. Uh, the first thing you'll come to is this little uh, junction here. Turn right. If you turn left, you'll go around in a circle, and you'll eventually get round to here anyway. And this is the little room. More supplies in there, if you need them. Go right out of this room, and keep on going for a short while, and then turn left ignoring the short dead end to the right. Now there's a bit of a wibbly wobbly bit here, up and down. Um, keep on going. And we should eventually come to another room. I said eventually. Oh, oh there it is. Here it is. Um, it's a nice little room. Um, and also note, it's got a workbench. Not quite sure why you'll actually need a workbench in the middle of the mine, but give it a go anyway if you need. There's plenty of stuff to search as well. If you don't give a shit about the contents, keep going. Go out of the um, other exit, and oh, another 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 choice. Uh, turn right. I'm looking at a scrappy bit of paper for this, <laughs> so I'm, I'm ever so slightly confused. Now you come to this area. Um, there is actually a passage down to the left there, but what you'll need to do is go up the wooden stairs and keep on going down here. And then there's a quite a long, windy passage. So feel free to you know go out for a smoke or have a have a have a nice kippo or something. Right, here we go. This uh, this is the final thing. Um, do not turn right, turn left. And already you can see the glow of the outside world. And there we go. The exit of the abandoned mine. 
And there you go. Now, go shoot some bears or something. Don't forget to unequip your lantern, by the way. And if you, do, if you actually need help finding the entrance to the abandoned mine in the first place, um, check out my other video, which tells you how to find and unlock the Pleasant Valley. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this has been useful. Subscribe to Randomize User for more videos like this, and I'll see you next time.